the zip library CodeIgniter provides us with allows us to create zip files. In this code sample we have a simple controller. Here we load the zip library. Then the execution is forward to zip sample.php. Here you can see that we invoke add data again and again each time we add new file to the archive, the zip archive, archive file we uh, build. Uh, the first file, its name is data1.txt and this is its content. The second file, its name is data2.txt and this is its content. When we invoke the function download and specify a name uh, for the zip file we want to get, then the archive, the zip archive file is created and immediately the user will get it downloaded to his own computer. So if we give it a try, so this is the URL to invoke the zip controller and in the zip controller we have the action index so we can actually avoid writing index. This is the default action. Now as you can see we get a zip file downloaded to our computer. If we check that zip file then we can find that it includes two simple files each one of them includes the text, the text we specified in our code. So if we try to open this file for example, simple data 2, just as expected.